welcome to yet more bonus, bonus content, content of me reacting to my artsy and craftsy friends using my very own super not another craft kit. For those of you who may not know, I have my very own craft kit with an exclusive mold handmade by me that looks like this, where you can cast it, make a four-legged character, and this has never been done before that looks like this, where you can customize it to so many amazing things, such as what Ace of Clay, Jazza, and Graveyard Loon have done, and even myself and some of my beginner friends. And of course, let's not forget the amazing community posts that y'all have been sending me. These are just some examples of the sculptures that you've been tagging me in. I'm so proud of y'all. And this release has been so successful that our first batch sold out and the second batch right now is 75% sold out. However, they are currently in stock. So if you order yours today, they will be shipped within the next few business days. So if you're still looking for that Christmas gift or a gift to yourself, I will link it down below. Remember, we do have limited stock and once they're gone, they're gone. And if you want to watch some of my crafty friends use them, I will link them also down below in a playlist. And today we're going to be continuing reacting, this time with friends of mine that have not had much sculpting experience. Thus, they are beginner sculptors. And let's go ahead with my good friend, Chloe Rose Art. If you love artsy and quirky that go together, you absolutely have to check her out. She is sweet, funny, kind of like you know something's gonna happen, but you don't know what's gonna happen. She keeps you on your toes. I will link her down below. She is an absolutely wonderful human being, friend, and creator. So we got our headphones on, and let's see what we have. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we've got the super not another crap git by, <laughs> crap git, I just said. <laughs> the crap, not another crap git by my wonderful friend Jackie, AKA Nerdy Crafter. No, that's too zoomed in. <laughs> That reminds me of old videos I used to make where I put my eyeball like almost into the camera lens. Let's never speak of that Jackie again. This is so heavy. All I know it's something to do with sculpting. Her first one was like that as well, but this one's super. Can I just hang on? Before she says what she wants to say, I'm gonna say what I wanna say. Chloe, I love you. I hope you, all the legs are gonna be there this time because in the previous kit, this happened with her character. I'm gonna just like squish it onto his hand. <gasps> Remember, sculpting requires us to be a little gentle. The craft supplies, they're a little bit more fragile, like my heart. Graphics on this are really, really pretty. I absolutely just think that this box is probably the prettiest craft kit box that I've ever seen. Thank you, we've worked so hard. I love this box so much. We wanted to have the idea of gradients because the airbrush that comes in the kit, yes, you do get your very own airbrush, in which Jazza really had fun, and then he called me this. Really good, Jackie! What have you done, you diabolical genius? <gasps> oh, they have tissue paper. I find things like that because I do a lot of packaging stuff myself with my brushes. This just amuses me, the fact that she has nice fancy paper. And many of you said that you've been using this as like coloring pages, so I love that. Now, you need to remember, be gentle. <laughs> The last sculpture you did was great. Don't knock this one down either. You can take your time. If Pat did it, so can you. Pat is Jackie's husband, so she said if he can do it, then I, uh, that's... Good sign. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Chloe, I love you, but you just have to be a little more gentle. I say that Pat did it because Pat keeps breaking my parrot's toys. His hands just be heavy. So if he can be gentle, so can you. She remembered last time that I ended up breaking the arm off. Push it onto his hand. <laughs> I love that we both inserted it into the video. Enjoy seeing her do it twice. We have a huge bag, oh my goodness. A huge bag of a lot of supplies that I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what half of these things are for. A spatula. This, I'm guessing, is to mix the whatever we're doing. Then we have, from memory before, this was the mixing bowl. And it has a lid, is that to preserve it? It's not a lid, it's actually something that was suggested by you grains because in the previous kit, many of you used the silicone bowl base to create a character base so that it can stand on. But because this four-legged character is longer, we decided to add a silicon circle where you can pour your plaster and you make a base for your character. So this is a silicon base for your character. Is that a nail file? It is actually a... Wait, no, it's not. It's a container. It's a container with tools in it. It's hilarious and absolutely wonderful to see someone who's very inexperienced when it comes to sculpting and clay kind of like go through the motion and be like, what's this? What's this? And it sounds like me because when I try to discover new art supplies, I'm like, what's this? What's this? There's art supplies everywhere. 
Yeah, these are basically nail files, which must be because they're like sandpaper to sand little corners. Yes. Of things. Yes. Some wipe wiper. Perfect. It's bedtime. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> it's bedtime. I will take you. Here's little baby Chloe in my hand. Okay. And I'm gonna pet little baby Chloe. Very cute. Very baby. Go to sleep now. Some rubber bands. These are probably to hold the mold together because I do know this is involving a mold again, which last time, again, didn't go too well. Oh, it happened that way because I clearly said in the instructions, do not hold the character in your hand. And she just picked it up and it leaked. <laughs> For me, this needs a, probably a whole day to set, so that's why I'm gonna be doing this now. It's like I said it needed two hours. Chloe. Oh, there you go. You put it up there. Yeah, you just need first hour, and then you unmold the sides, and then the second hour, you remove the bottom. We have our mold. This one. Okay, I'm. this is what I'm most excited for, because this is, was custom made by her. This already looks very complex. Um, oh. <laughs> this is just looking more and more dangerous by the second. So yeah, no. we have our mold. It's like a little, is it a horse? Uh, maybe it is, because yeah, she's riding a unicorn. So we have wings, so you can make it into like a fairy. Dragon is probably supposed to be a dragon. You could, you know, like donkey and track his little kids, they're like... Oh, he's on the right track. You could do like donkey and dragon hybrid. That would be really cute. These ones look like fairy wings. This one's like a Pegasus. And then you have like the dragon wings. So and these wings mold set come exclusive in your kit. Again, I curated these wings. We put them in the kit. The mold is handmade by me. There's a whole process of how we made the mold. If you're interested in that video, it is on my vlog channel. And here's what the thumbnail looks like. It really took months close to a year to get that mold just right. We went through so many prototypes. She included an airbrush. I've never used an airbrush before. She did warn me there was an airbrush inside. I like how she said, I warned her about the airbrush. I just told her, why did it become a warning? Chloe, it's not a warning. You're gonna do okay, okay? I have faith in you. Oh, she's actually watching the tutorials. Awesome. You do get tutorials that come with the kit. You just have to scan your QR code and everything works together. I've made these exclusively for the kit so you can work with it. And the tutorials are mini, so they're not very long. So a lot of her tutorial is actually in real time. We're going to try Jackie. I really hope I do this justice. Yes, the tutorials are in real time. I try to make it so that I can show you that you can take your time. I will do it with you. I will guide you. It's not cut down and edited, most of them, in a way that looks like I'm just going through it much quicker than you. It really is together. I did specify to not tap it in the cup. That will mean it will go down more and then you'll have the water. Chloe. Chloe, Chloe, I'm looking at your desk. The mold has not been prepared. It clearly says prepare the mold before you touch the plaster. <laughs> Why should my artsy friends not listen? <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm the same way, by the way. Okay, not shaming nobody because I'm the exact same way. But please, read the instructions first. I know we have what Graveyard Loon calls artistic liberties. But I think you need to prep your mold first, please. Okay, she said you can shake it like this, but that's it. Okay, that's no in there. I'm collapsing the cup at the same oh time. <laughs> but there we go. So now she said we need to add water. That no, 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 no. Chloe, that mold is still sitting on rubber banded. Chloe, Chloe, no. Ice cold water won't matter. Ice cold water. Hmm. I think you and Graveyard Loon would do an excellent collab together. You are setting yourselves up for things to happen. Let's keep looking. Use room temp water, please, not ice cold. Oh, it's bubbling. It's gonna be a little dramatic. It's okay, yeah, it is being dramatic, but it's fine. That's normal, apparently. There you go. Chloe, did you see what you did? How to prepare the mold. I missed this video. Frick. Okay, good. Yeah, preparing the mold is really easy. And she's doing it exactly like how I showed it in the tutorial. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yes, you definitely have to put the rubber bands in as many places as you can to avoid the plaster from leaking. Oh, it's probably too gloopy. Oh, that's good, good, good. It straight in. I'm so nervous about this. I'm really, really nervous that I'm gonna mess up. You do good. It filled up way quicker than I was expecting. Good. I don't know if it's because of the air in it. I think it's good, actually. It's okay if a little bit of the plaster comes from the bum in the back. That's totally okay. It's usually going to be the liquidier part. But don't worry about that. See, like she has right there. That's totally okay. This is awful. 
Oh no, this is so messy. Okay, um, I do not know how this is going to go because I've made such a mess on the outside. Half the fun of crafting is the mess. Just have fun with it. You're doing good. So this is where we had our first casualty. <gasps> no, 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 the back, no. Don't unmold the back legs. You have to unmold the front legs. I can see clearly why it broke. I thought I was being slow and gentle at the time. When I rewatched Jackie's video tutorials, I realized I did many things wrong. First of all, you are not supposed to get excited to get the mold out because it looks really cool. And instead you have to peel the edges all over and wiggle out the front legs first very slowly and then you slowly wiggle out the back yeah so chloe you did great now the only thing is knowledge is power you did great because the mold turned out really well you casted it right from the first time great job and even if you didn't cast it right from the first time that's okay this kit will let you make at least three different ones so don't worry i've even been able to stretch it to four so second try here we go i missed a rubber band apparently i don't know <laughs> where but well i can i know where because of where it's coming out at this point, I'm just like, you know what, Jackie, you are so kind and brave to send me your craft kit because I'm clearly not showing it in its best light. <laughs> Chloe, I sent this to you because I know, I know that you're going to show the true experience of an absolute beginner who may just want to dive into it without necessarily looking at all the tutorials. And you know what? I like that because I want people to see how you can use the kit and be excited about it, but also that mistakes are not permanent and it's okay to make mistakes. And I love that about you. And that's why I will always send you my kits because you are amazing and I love you for it. And when I tell you I was terrified to remove this, I was terrified, but so far, so good. This was the hardest part though. I was constantly feeling like his leg would snap again. Are you removing the back legs again? <laughs> Start with the front, Chloe. Okay, you're just wiggling, okay. Really tense chronic like sweat and anxiety yes. trying not to break the leg again front legs first slowly loosening it until yes yes there you go reading the instructions goes a long way i love you <laughs> now at this point i was texting jackie back and forth and she kindly sent me some videos telling me the best way to attach the wings because i told her i wanted to have them flat to the sides versus like sticking upwards i didn't tell her what i was making she's gonna discover this when she watches this video yeah i sent her a tutorial basically custom tutorial so she messaged me and she's like if i want to do this how do i do that so i'm like okay i got you i can show you so this is the tutorial i sent her before I even decided what I wanted to make with this sculpt, I realized that everyone else is probably making dragons or unicorns, but I wanted to do something different because I knew that I wouldn't be making as good a job as a lot of the actual sculptors and crafters Jackie sent this to, and I didn't want to even attempt to compete. So I just went straight for the flying talking donkey dragon Shrek bait. Yes! Okay, I'm excited for this. I am super excited for this. And probably should have kept this simpler than I actually did. By the way, I also have a tutorial of how to use the clay. Don't ever use big chunks like she does. It's actually going to hurt your hands. Cut small pieces and when you need it, it's going to be much faster and easier and less hard on your hands. So don't take big chunks like she does. It's going to hurt your hands. My thumb's getting ridiculously stiff. I wonder why. Did you watch the video? <laughs> okay, so here it looks like she's using the cause clay in order to put her pieces of clay, which is very good. You always have to use your cause clay to make your pieces. When you're not sure what to do with your clay or how to start a sculpture, just start blocking in pieces and it'll come together. And as someone who has barely sculpted more than, I don't know, four times, I thought at this moment I would be really enjoying this, but I don't. I mean, what <laughs> I do have though is a huge amount of respect for sculptors. This stuff is hard. You have to smooth it out and shape it then try not to mess up the other parts as you try to fix the other side you constantly try not to get the mold all over and fall and break because actually jackie did send me a full-blown perfect mold in the mail that i only just realized when i was making my second mold and i had it and i was like this is great it's traveled all the way from canada it's in perfect condition and then it fell over on the table and the leg fell off no <laughs> My sculptures have fallen and legs haven't come off. I feel like you and Graveyard Loon have a thing for breaking legs. He broke all four off. Here's a recap. For sure. <gasps> all the legs are broken. Connor the Cow now has zero legs. How did you manage? So, you have to really try hard not to press on any of the limbs too hard. Otherwise, we all saw what happened last time. It's just so meticulous. I honestly spent about eight hours total on this thing. One of those times being a five and a half hour solid stretch 
just sculpting. That's not bad at all, Chloe. That is amazing. And I think that's the reason this kit is so friendly because it turns a project that would normally take you 25 to 40 hours to put together, but now you have the base, which means you've saved at least five to six more hours figuring out the actual base and balancing it out. So five hours of sculpting is actually really good. Sculpting takes a long time. <laughs> His butt looks pretty good though. I mean, I'm not Kim Kardashian's surgeon, but I'm pretty sure that's a solid seven out of 10 donkey dragon horse butt. Mm -hmm. I must have spent at least an hour just on his mouth. I added more clay so there would be kind of like a lip so he had an overbite yes. because I was looking at a lot of references and there weren't really many good ones, but the ones I found, I was like, you know, he's kind of got an overbite. He's also a donkey. So like they don't have very good dental care. I love that she's using the cosplay clay adhesive as a smoothing mechanism. So that is good. You're having good instincts, Chloe, despite the fact that you're not sure. I like that butt too. <laughs> you, you are doing amazingly. You don't have to do anything in one sitting. Sometimes when I want to do sculptures, I leave my sculpture on my desk and continue the day after, the day after, and the day after until I'm happy. And that's what's great about polymer clay. The tail was a pain in the butt. Literally. It was helpful because Jackie made holes on the mold so you could easily attach a tail or wings if you wanted to with wire. I just don't think I've ever actually made a tail before, so this was very experimental to say the least. Chloe, you should be proud of yourself. You've already come a long way from feeling like you hated your first sculpture that you ever made, even though I told you stop being so hard on yourself. And now look at that. You're creating your own creature, your own four-legged monster here. Be proud of yourself. Okay, and here is where she's using the technique. I don't know if she put the wire in there to make the wing hold into it. I don't see a wire. It was time to pop him in the oven to let him burn. I'm kidding. <laughs> Starting off, I put the first three layers of the base coat. Jackie does tell you to do this because the actual sculpt itself is oil-based and the paint is water-based, so it's not going to stick too well. There was an ant on my leg. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> It's like the time where I had like a beetle or a fruit fly try to get into my plaster. Here's what that looks like. Oh no, no, be, no, bug, no. <laughs> we have Jackie's super fancy airbrush, which admittedly I have never used before either. What is that? What happened? <laughs> Chloe, what happened? I've never seen this before. What did you do? I think I know what happened because if you put the three coats of primer, the paint will adhere. But what may have happened is maybe you stayed too long on the same spot and so it started to leak. Is that what happened? Let's zoom into the legs. I'm gonna zoom into the leg right here. If your airbrush paints are looking like they're not sticking to the actual clay or to your sculpture, it basically means that you didn't put enough primer, which means that you put too much of the clay adhesive, which again is oil-based, which is going to repel the water-based paint. So. The remedy for that, wipe it off, add a couple more coats of the primer. Super important that you use the primer that we provided. Any other primer, any other white acrylic paint will not work. You have to use the chalk primer. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. 100%, you need to have more primer. Okay, but she's layering it, so it's getting somewhere, but it shouldn't be that long for you. Oh, Chloe, no. <gasps> I was getting really tired of this by now and I just wanted to finish it so I got out my hair dryer which I've definitely used more on my art than I ever have my hair. I dried each layer so I could finish it quicker. I'd like to say that I got a hold of the whole airbrush thing and I kind of did and it was a very nice airbrush let me tell you but I definitely do need more practice. And that's okay when I first used an airbrush I had my brother guiding me to use it. If you ever don't feel comfortable definitely watch the tutorials that I have or watch some of the tutorials out there of how to use one. Again this is beginner friendly so there aren't really many any tweaks that you should do and the guide and the tutorials that I provide should help you with it. Yes, getting in with that detail. Oh, I see the eyes are coming in. Very nice. This is looking good. I know there's like shining in the light, so it makes it look like there's a lot of white, but it's actually the reflection of the light. This is looking great. Him a mischievous look, so when I painted his eyes, I tried to make them seem like he was all smug, and I feel I actually kind of achieved that a bit yeah. better than I expected. And Ermi Gerd, here is our little donkey dragon that she made. Chloe, I really hope you are proud of yourself because this sculpture is phenomenal. Definitely my best sculpt to date. Does it need work? 
it sure does but i'm getting there i'm learning i really hope that you enjoyed this thank you so much to jackie for sending me this i absolutely love it chloe you did such an amazing job seriously you went from like hating sculpting with and then you went from still hating sculpting but at least you're doing much 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 improvement in so little time that is amazing great job chloe i'm so proud of you i'll leave the link for the full video down below remember i am still watching the entire video but cutting it down for the purpose of the reaction so check her full video and this next video is by none other than Dr. Squish. Now, I had no idea that Dr. Squish knew how to sculpt. I am extremely excited to watch. Dr. Squish, I'm learning things about you. I feel like we have a lot to learn about each other. For those of you who don't know Dr. Squish, she is one of the queens of fidget toys. And if you remember, I did a review on her own actual squishy making kit. If you're interested in watching that and my adventures on trying to make my own handmade squishy, definitely I'll link it down below. So if you enjoy my content, you will absolutely adore hers. I don't know why, I always get so nervous for everybody else. I start sweating. Y'all making me sweat. My poor little heart can't necessarily take it. All right, Dr. Squish, I got you. You're probably gonna hear me yell across the screen, but that's okay, it's, it's out of love. <laughs> Do you wanna get salty with Nerdy Crafter? Let's go. I just wanna say how adorable she is. Nervous and excited. I have the super not another crap kit from Nerdy Crafter. I had to get into this. But you know those YouTube videos where you see a really talented sculptor and they're making something and you sit there and watch and go, man, that's amazing. How did they do that? Those are really pretty. I'm telling you, I am not talented. I am not good at sculpting. I have no talent. You know what it is? Time. I just take my time. So many sculptures, you see the final version edited from 15 to 20 minutes, but these videos sometimes take me 40 hours of work. Time, that's all it is. If you work on something slow enough, you'll be okay. <laughs> Yes, Ace of Clay. This is not gonna be anything like that. I am not a sculptor. I have never sculpted or used clay. When I say I am a beginner, this is gonna be a disaster, isn't it? Oh my God, I am so proud of you. Just like Chloe, who also doesn't dabble in sculpting, made me so proud. So I can't wait to see what you make, Dr. Squish. Oh my God, y'all please give her support. I will link her down below. Jackie claims that this is beginner friendly. It was $150. We're gonna review the kit, see if it's a beginner friendly, see if it was a good deal, see if it belongs in the trash. <laughs> that came out of nowhere and that was chef's kiss beautifully executed. Absolutely love cotton candy. Yes, I know I am a grown woman. Cotton candy is my favorite food. I like, I have a portrait of her on the wall. So I wanna make a cotton candy dragon. Can I do that? Okay, let's get into this kit. I am so excited. It is so incredibly heavy. There's got to be a ton of stuff in this box. First off, I got a cute brain sticker and a fidget bowl. I love it. Of course our minds go straight into fidget. A fidget bowl, a fidget funnel. Fidget funnel and a spatula thingy. We gotta give it a few good whacks. Everybody wax it. And everyone likes the spatula and they go whack. This is like a slappy stick. So you go around slapping people with it if they use the kit wrong. Looks like we got some pretty clay tools, an oil slick pattern, and a flattened slinky. That's gonna be useful. Nice brushes and a filer, a sander. This is the uh, wings mold, three wings we can make, and a paint tray, and this is the mold for the stand and some clay tools. You've done so much research, Dr. Squish, oh my god. And a lazy Susan, but not the lazy Deborah. I wonder why. By the way, if you find that your lazy Susan is going like hers, that sound in the background, just grab it, pull it apart very gently, and you're gonna see that it's gonna create that space. It just means that it was compressed during shipping. So just loosen that stuff up. I have a video in the playlist that comes with the kit, so check that out. I got everything set up, and now it literally says I gotta figure it out. Uh, 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 figure it out. Actually, it says I have to prep my workspace. So I think that I have everything set up. I hope so. You're reading instructions. My little heart be a little fluttering and happy. I'm sorry I kind of read your instructions and, and watched your video and still took it into my own hands. I can't be angry about that. So I'm just gonna start rubber banding my mold. I am scared to death. I don't want any leakage, but I think this is okay. I'm gonna put some plaster into the cup and then pour it into the bowl. Uh, I think that's enough. 
or you know all over the table I can't tell you how badly I want to like shake it and compress it but it says don't do that I'm gonna get my wings prepared I'm using the butterfly wings we're gonna put a little clay in you the not only read the instructions you've watched the video tutorials Dr. Squish I love you <laughs> We're gonna put some water into the bowl right in there. I am so scared. I can't tell you how nervous I am that I'm gonna mess it up. It's kind of like making pancakes, but in a hurry and with a lot of nerves. I scraped the bottom of the bowl, making sure there was no lumpies. So now I'm pouring it into the mold. That is a beautiful consistency of the actual plaster. It's supposed to be milky cream and not battery pancake. That is nice. It flows beautiful. I like that. And then it says to pour the plaster towards its butt and then to pour it towards its front legs to make sure all of his legs actually come out properly. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest of his head. Uh, I don't wanna overfill it, I'm so nervous. There's enough to do a pair of wings and the base. So it's really cool that those were exact measurements to do kind of exactly the wings and the base. Uh, the stuff's actually getting a little thick. And there ended up being exactly the right amount to do a base, two wings, and the sculpture. So that's cool. Now we gotta let it set. After an hour, I can unmold the sides. I'm a bit nervous, but I, I'm pretty excited to see. Oh, his head, guys, I didn't fill it up all the way, so his head's ridiculous, but I can fill that in with clay later. I'm sure it'll be fine. But look, it actually came out. Now I gotta unmold the base. That came out perfectly, and the wings. <gasps> look how beautiful the wings are. Now I'll let it sit for another hour, and we can unmold the sides. This is what gets me the most nervous. So the only reason the head didn't fill up all the way is because plaster does shrink a little bit. So you have to make sure you fill it up just a smidgen higher and then it's gonna get a little lower. But that's okay. I'd rather have a flat head than, you know, it overflowing and then you breaking the legs and all that stuff. I'm only nervous because many people rush this part up and then end up breaking legs. Don't rush it. And even if you break legs, that's totally okay. You can make a sitting down or laying down creature, which I've seen many of you do, which is is absolutely phenomenal. I love your creativity. Oh my goodness. You be quiet. I'm so scared right now. I am positive. I am going to. I didn't say wiggle it this way. The other way. Dr. Squish, you don't wiggle it this way. This way pushes the legs outwards. What you want to do is wiggle up and down, not side to side. Side to side will break the legs. It's up and down. But let's see what you did. Mm -mm. And your fingers? I'm just saying, your fingers are on the legs. They should be on the torso. Anyone who's watching this, you have to keep your hands on the torso and wiggle front to back, not side to side. Just a little bit, uh, but somehow I managed to get it out. Look, that's the easy part. Perfect, I'm so excited. And his back legs, oh my gosh, it's perfect. What the shrimp, you did it. You did it. I was criticizing you, but you did it. You did it, I was clearly, there's more than one right way to do it, but I was so worried because I got the 100% the successes that way. And most people who did it the way that you did it didn't get many successes. So you know what? You're an exemplary person. You would, in fact, regret saying. Oh, no. First off, let's do the wings. I'm going to put some glue in the wing hole and then shove a plug of clay in the wing hole and then a little piece of wire and then we can stick the uh, wing. I really thought you put glue. It's it's the clay, clay, what's it called? Liquid clay. Right on after more glue. There's there's lots of glue involved. And then I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing and just start smoothing. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I have to say, one of the things that I'm mostly worried about is how you're you're handling the legs. You seem to be putting a lot of holding onto the leg parts while you're moving the entire body. So that's definitely gonna put stress on the legs. That's the only thing that makes me worried. So now I'm gonna give it a snoot. It needs a nose. I know it looks more like a duck bill, but I'm gonna smooth it. It's it's a lot of smoothing. I'm gonna do the bottom of the duck bill. You're doing so good. Great! That's what sculpting is. It's blocking in shapes. Wow! Amazing! Seriously, amazing! I'm gonna give it a little tongue, kind of like it's blowing a, a raspberry. I think that's gonna look pretty darn cute in there. And uh, it needs some breathing holes, so we're gonna poke those. And an eyeball here, it needs another No way you've never sculpted. No way. I don't believe it. No way. I think these big poofy cheeks are gonna look really cute. Oh, his leg! Oh no, it all went wrong! Let's see where it went wrong, hang on. Aha! You see? Your hands in the back, your palm was putting pressure to hold the thing in this place. I don't mean to criticize, but that's my, my, my honest reaction, I'm getting very nervous. So you were putting a lot of pressure as you were trying to smooth the cheek in, so the leg kind of like caved inwards. Yeah. His leg! Oh no, it all went- It's okay! 
hungry in line at the post office. I cannot believe that happened, but I'm going to try and fix it. I made a little more plaster. I'm just going to paint it on and stick it back where it was. And then I'm painting plaster around the break. I waited an hour and it's kind of like a cast. It seems to have worked. I mean, I just need to file this down and it seems to be okay. Smart cookie. Very smart cookie. The plaster as glue. Again, chef's kiss. And uh, I'm just gonna keep sculpting. You're, it's gonna all come together. Now I'm gonna give it like cow's ears, kind of these floppy hanging down style ears. I think they're gonna look really cute, kind of make her look a little sweet. The hair is giving me Pinkie Pie vibes. I love it. And here's what she looks like so far. She does need some feet, so we're gonna put four feet on her and do some more smoothing. And then a plug of clay in the butt, and then a little wire in the butt, and then her tail is going on, and then some smoothing. Love. I think she's ready to go in the oven now. I, I, I just hope that she doesn't break in there. Did I say Pinkie Pie? Did I mean Fluttershy? Editor, which my little pony did I mean with the hairstyle? <laughs> Correct me, please. This is her out of the oven, and guys, guess what? She broke in there. When he went into the oven, he was whole. When he came out of the oven, he was missing a limb. You know what it is though, cause you didn't pray to the bacon gods. Putting it out there, the bacon gods are very vengeful. This time I just super glued that bad boy back on there and we're just gonna move along. I'm painting it with the chalk paint. This is like the primer. It gets three full coats. And it's gotta dry between each coat before I can paint it. Now it's time to airbrush. I have never done this before, but look how beautiful this is. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do it blue, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna mix up some of this dark blue with some of the white paint. I hope this works out. Beautiful execution of the color mixing bowl. That's exactly what it's used for to help with the funnel and put it in. Let's see your first time using it. It works. <gasps> My first airbrushing. Oh, it's so good. This is actually a lot of fun, but since I've never done it before, it's pretty splotchy. I feel like I could get better. I think I know why it's splotchy. The back of the airbrush, let's put a little arrow towards it, is way too close to the end. So what you need to do is just unscrew it a little bit so that you have more freedom to actually spray paint. But I don't love the way that, <laughs> that it turned out my first time. So since I want it to be a lot, uh, Aww. gee, I'm just gonna paint it all over with some acrylic paint. Let me know if you need help, Dr. Squish. Message me, I will help you figure it out. I'm painting the pompadour pink. Uh, you won't really be able to see it anyway, but it needs to be pink and a little bit of light pink paint on that cute tongue. Everything seems to be going so smoothly. Until now, another leg just snapped off in my hand. It has now officially broken more legs than it had to begin with. So one of the things I say, also I say this to everybody who's never sculpted before, you have to remember when it comes to sculpting, gravity is your enemy. You have to have the most delicate of hands. I have sausage fingers and I still manage to not break it, but I can't draw for shrimp. Y'all good at painting, y'all good at drawing. Nami, nami. These clay tools were actually perfect for giving it these tiny kawaii dots in the eyes. I thought that was awesome. Just trying to make her look a little sweeter and not so crazy. And now it's time for the cotton candy. Let me show you how I made it. You'll need a stiff wire brush and some acrylic yarn, any color, and you'll just start taking the yarn and running it over the wire brush to make this cotton candy fluff. When you do it, you just do it lightly through the brush back and forth and you end up with these fibers that just kind of can be gathered out of the brush like that and it looks just like cotton candy. So I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and just start gluing floofs to her head with this tacky glue just all over the pompadour that I made. I want it to be really high and really cute. I know she's looking a mess. Just She's looking phenomenal. What are you talking about? N now I'm gonna be doing a little recycling of some old eyelashes that were found for the trash. I'm gonna clip them and put a little bit of that tacky glue on and just put them right under her eyebrow. No way. I love that. I've done that once on one of my sculptures a long time ago using fake eyelashes and it always gives this extra oomph to your sculpture. That is phenomenal, phenomenal. Last thing I wanted to do is take these little star embellishments. I'm only gonna pick out the pink ones and I'm gonna use this little dotting tool to put on some of the tacky glue and glue the pink stars kind of all over her tails. I think it's gonna end up so cute. Kind of a final touch. I love it. Here she is. Oh my God. Cotton candy glory. It took a long time to get all of those fibers on her hair and on her wings and legs. Look at the amount of stars and the cute little chubby cheeks and the cotton candy everywhere. I seriously have a hard time believing this is your first ever sculpture. You've done an amazing sculpt and that goes to many of you grains in the community who just keep sending me your creations and you're like, this is my first ever sculpture. I'm like, bollocks, that is not your first ever sculpture. This is phenomenal. Again, 
take your time. That's all it really is. Just don't rush yourself. When you feel like inspiration there, just take a couple hours here, stop, take another couple hours here, take your time. Some people have spent a couple of weeks working on a sculpture and that's totally okay. Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> I love her little look her cotton candy floof it matches cotton candy I'm really impressed with this kit I'm not so much impressed with myself stop it my kit yes absolutely has a lot of value we worked so hard to bring you an amazing deal for that price tag and stop it doctors stop it your piece is adorable I love it I'll take it from you if you don't want it some dragon abuse going on legs snapping all over the place there may have been some cursing 10 out of 10 the, the experience was great the kit was great i loved the whole thing whether or not you like my dragon listen that's on you i hope you guys had fun and if you did absolutely phenomenal seriously grains give her lots of love lots of support because that is such a wonderful sculpture and such an amazing i didn't even send it to dr squish because I, I didn't i don't want to put stress on people and be like okay you don't ever sculpt therefore i will pressure you and ask you if you could do it i'm not that kind of person but i really truly do appreciate the support I really, really do. And remember, if you do want to get your own Super Not Another Crab Kit, they are available now in stock. This second batch, so the first batch is sold out. The second batch is over 75% sold. So if you're looking for a gift for someone or for yourself, because the holidays are around the corner, make sure that you do pick up your own before they are gone. If you want to watch my previous reaction video with Ace of Clay, Jazza, and Graveyard Loon, check them up over here. And if you want to watch something a little bit more fidget toy-esque, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.